Welcome, welcome to Nothing to Do. Uh, this is a Galena Musical Theater presentation. I direct musical theater here uh, at the auditorium. I don't, yeah, anyway. Uh, we are so excited that you guys are here. I just wanted to get a show of hands. Who's been here? Who's this? This is your second night. Can you raise your hand? Ooh, awesome. Who is on their third night? Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate it. Uh, these students have worked very, very hard, diligently, and uh, have sacrificed a lot of their free time to bring this wonderful show to you, and we are so, so delighted to have such a great audience. Thank you all for your support. Uh, we just have been overwhelmed by your donations and your wonderful comments on Facebook and all of that, so thank you so much for coming. Um, let's see here. What do I need to tell you? Oh, your cell phone. If we could get them on airplane mode right now, that would be so great. So get those cell phones out, get them on airplane mode for us. The difference between airplane mode and silent is that airplane mode is not going to affect our microphones and speakers, uh, whereas being on silent sometimes still can. So if you get that on airplane mode, that'd be great. I'll show you guys backstage. They already know. Um, anyway, thank you so much for coming. Uh, we have discovered that Debbie Joints doesn't exist. She is on the program. For those of you that have been here three nights, you've heard me say that three times in a row. Debbie Joints is a autocorrect of uh, Debbie Koontz. So Debbie Koontz did the sewing. Debbie Joints had nothing at all to do with it. And if you are Debbie Joints and you're here tonight and you do exist, please reveal yourself. No. Okay. Without further ado, nothing to do. Pottery to probably castles have been cancelled as per 
with Lady Leona, please follow the protocol for welcoming royal parties as described in Appendix A, Section 3 of your palace handbook. In the case of an emergency, please use the exit nearest you. There are two side exits and one overhead exit. In the case of a candle shortage, the floor will illuminate, guiding you to your nearest exit. Thank you and enjoy your stay at Lady Leona's palace. Oh, features, Benedict's on his way, your favorite. Oh, is he supposed to be off dying in battle or something? Young lady, Prince Benedict is a respected soldier. Come on, he's just gonna ask you the ladies with some love. You should try getting along with him. I have tried. He's impossible. I have nothing to say to him, but hi and how do you do? In every fight he'll win. Oh gosh, how I loathe him. I know that I sound so mean. I think I'll pack my bags and run a trip to Africa. Sounds fun. <laughs> Beatrix, you're not going anywhere. But it's something to do. I can't wait for Prince Claudia to come. He's such a dream. Nothing to do. Just have to wait till he walks through the Uh, 
My goodness, what a girl. Who? Lady Hero, of course. I forgot how beautiful and kind she was. Are we talking about a different person? Because she's very average. Believe me. Besides, we're going to be bachelors forever. We're going to grow old, lounging in our lounge chairs, wallowing in body. Reminiscing about our days in battle, free from the wiles of women. Can't you just taste it? I'm not really sure if I want to taste it. <laughs> Come on. fiber of my being terrified. Girls don't get it. They don't get what we're all about. They don't get like we would like to shop. They do not understand why rubbing is a show of strength and power. <laughs> Girls don't like it. They don't like when we smell like food. They don't appreciate the crew. They do not like it when we tell them yes, that just makes it fast. Women, women, how fair and oh how strange you are. Women, women, we must admire from afar women Morris. For that we thank you, yes we do. But you are crazy. We simply cannot marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
run off to Vegas. Where is he? I'm right here, over here. Yeah. Really? I think this gentleman has something he'd like to ask you. You can't borrow my horse unless you have collision coverage. Oh, of course you do. You're a prince. <laughs> what? Uh, Lady Leona, I would like to ask for a hero's hand in marriage. I thought you'd never ask. But I've only been here ten minutes. <laughs> um, well, time flies when you're having fun, which we almost never are here. <laughs> I think this calls for a royal celebration. Uh, for ten weeks, no? What about a masquerade? We can announce your engagement to the entire province. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, thank you, Lady Leona. Well, 
Marguerite and I have been quite fond of each other for some time now. Whenever I'm here, we visit out on the terrace at night. <laughs> you know how similar her hair is to Lady Heroes? What? Go on, Buford. What if Prince Claudio were to see me with Marguerite out on the terrace and think it were Lady Hero instead? Ah, Buford, you're dynamite! It's too bad you can't see your ideas like I do. Oh, how I wish I could. <laughs> but still, we'll destroy the little lovers. I'll show Claudio tonight. He'll see everything. He'll see everything. And he'll think that his sweet hero is in love with you instead. And we'll kill that little romance. Kill it still, it's good and dead. <laughs> <laughs> Against my will, I haven't sent to call you whatever. 
That's a double meaning in that. <laughs> Are you sure that Benedict loves Peter so entirely? Yeah, Claudia told me. He says he thinks she's the prettiest, most hilarious girl he's ever met. Well, are you going to tell her? Oh, Claudia begged me to. But I told him that if you care for Benedict at all, to just tell him to forget about Beatrice. But why, my lady, doesn't Benedict deserve her? Oh, of course. He's the most eligible bachelor in all France. But you know how hard-hearted Beatrice is. But couldn't she see what a handsome, brave, compassionate man he is? I'm afraid she'd just make fun of him. Oh well, let's head to dinner. We've got her! <laughs> is this true? Does everyone think I'm so proud and so scornful I cannot love? Benedict loves me. What? Benedict loves me. How? Benedict, what in the world is wrong with you? Benedict loves me. Why? Nobody loves me. Well, Benedict, maybe I'm falling in love with you too. He thinks I'm pretty. He thinks I'm funny. Well, suddenly I'm not as mad as I was before. Benedict loves me and he thinks I'm pretty. Well, Benedict. Ha <laughs> ha 
had a beautiful night. Yes. Shiro, is there anything that you wanted to tell me? Actually, yes. I was thinking that your hair might look better if you parted it the other way. Hey, uh, <laughs> okay. is there anything else you wanted to tell me? Not that I can think of. No. Uh, attention, everyone. I have an announcement. What? What's new? Where's the happy couple? Ah, there they are. The lady hero and Prince Benedict. Oh, sorry, you're not Benedict. You're Claudia. My bad. The hair. Um, great. Uh, where was it? Ah, Prince Claudio, that's the one. And the lady hero are engaged. Actually, I'm afraid not. I just got a rush. Hero, how could you just tell me you were love my ballet? What? what are you talking about? <laughs> but you leave me no choice. Last night I saw you Buford out on the terrace. He's not even French. Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> you know, is this true? Have you just figured out Buford? Never. <laughs> there must be some sort of misunderstanding. Hero would never do anything like this. She's the most virtuous girl I know. Well, she did. I saw it with my own eyes. Princess John told me that you two have been together for some time now. I swear it isn't true. I've done no such thing. I can't take this anymore. Excuse me. Prince Claudia, come back! Oh, it's no use. He's long gone. <laughs> Prince Claudio would never lie about a thing like this. Maybe. Now, Princess John, on the other hand, I suspect that foul play from that one. Hero, how could you? I did. Oh, yeah. What? She called me! What? How did you do the pole? <laughs> <laughs> Just my sister. 
Tedious. Thank you, my worship. Oh my God! 
indeed, like sire. <laughs> he has committed false reports. Moreover, he has verified undressed truths. Secondarily, that's true. Okay. Secondarily, he is a slanderer. Sixth and lastly, go to six now. Sixth and lastly, he lied about a good name.
the wedding tomorrow. <laughs> you know, the veil comes off, and oh, look, it's here! Oh, and you're surprised and happy! <laughs> He's right. That is, without a doubt, the worst prank that I've ever heard of. Well, um... I would ill-advise, again. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't catch a break! All right. How about everyone just forget about this, and you two cuties can get married right here in my town. <laughs> what if she doesn't want to marry him? I mean, he ain't ready for the best invitation. Uh, how did that happen? Yeah. 
Princess John and Buford. Where is, where is Buford? Um, he was on this terrace last night. Buford! <laughs> you Buford! You no, maybe they can lay off. Lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? Who thinks he's set off during wedding? Um, I'm sorry, but who in the world is that guy? And why is he talking in Old English? Dogberry! I'm Dogberry. Nice to meet you. Dogberry. Literally making the entire show. <laughs> well, as for Buford, let's worry about him later. As for Princess John, I think it's time for a little makeover. And I don't mean a nose job. <laughs> Grab your overalls, young lady. You're being banished to the American colonies. Actually, my lord, I think they're renowned for their plastic surgeons. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus! Dogberry, take her away. Aye, aye. Come on, neighbors, bring the defendant. You mean the defendant? Right! Wait, I can pay you? I can defend you to my dress, neighbors! No, 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 no. Nice try, sis. Where <laughs> is <laughs> Well, I, for one, am ready to be bored again. I don't know. I'm kind of bored all this is over with. Paige, get yourself a wife. Um, all right. <clears throat> you have forced my hand. Full disclosure, I might just maybe have a little tiny, well, really big thing um, for your sister. <clears throat> what, Princess John? I didn't mean my sister when I said his wife. <laughs> So, you're telling us that you think Princess John is a hottie? No, 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 I don't think you wanted it more. <laughs> There's a waste disposal. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming, Johnny! <laughs> she got some on the floor. Don't worry, you have chances. Well, you can call me crazy, but I think they're extremely well matched. I think you might be right. Well, who's ready, to be, who's ready for a nap? I think I'm one. I've never seen anyone tired of her. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Exhausted. Like that was just a stick. Can we go to the song? Can we start no. over the beginning of the song? Or just no. 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 No.
boys make up. Well, the girls that are boys, they're making up. So she's out of the program. Anyway, we'd like to thank them all for that. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you those of you who have been here for so many evenings. We appreciate you so much. And we are almost finished.